What's up guys? Well, it is one of the best days of the year. It is Rockville lineup day. I just got back home from work, so this isn't like a raw reaction. I have seen the lineup at this point, and I will say after seeing it, very hard to focus on work for the rest of the day. Um, and let me also just say this before I get into everything, I'm gonna do it like I always do it. I'm gonna go day by day, stage by stage, read everything off, tell you what I wanna see, and then you tell me what you wanna see because there are certainly bands on here that I'm not overly familiar with. Um, there's a lot that I am this year. So always looking for new stuff, although it's gonna be very tough because the overlap, I, I already have anxiety about the schedule because there's just so many good bands, which leads me into what I wanted to say. And that's that this is one of the most amazing festival lineups ever, maybe? I'm so excited for this, so, so excited for this. But without further ado, Let's just start listing bands. So starting off with day one, Thursday, going all the way to the bottom here, we've got Big Ass Truck, Candy, Harm's Way, Full of Hell, Converge, Health, Quicksand, and the Dillinger Escape Plan. Now for me, Dillinger is like the huge have to see um, on that stage that day. I'd like to see Converge, maybe Harm's Way. Big Ass Truck, I think is really kind of funny in a way. They're fun, but because they're so early, I don't know if I'll be able to see them or if I'll get there that early. But Dillinger, I mean, Dillinger Reunion, that show is gonna be batshit insane, so definitely don't wanna miss it. Moving on up, we got Gates to Hell, Frozen Soul, Shadow of Intent, The Acacia Strain, Exodus, Guar, Arch Enemy, and Body Count. Now, I definitely wanna see Body Count. I've never seen them, so that would be cool. Um, Exodus is pretty cool, I like them, Shadow of Intent. But the main one here for me is the Acacia Strain. I cannot miss the Acacia Strain. I haven't seen them in a long time, but they are amazing live and just a can't miss for sure. All right, up to stage three, we've got the Pretty Wild, Of Virtue, Until I Wake, Fit for a King, From Ashes to New, We Came as Romans, Asking Alexandria, and Bullet for My Valentine. So lots of good stuff on this stage. Uh, Fit for a King and We Came as Romans can't miss either of those. Um, I absolutely adore both of those bands. I've seen them both a fair few times, but I'll never say no to seeing either one of them. Asking Alexandria depends a lot on what the set list would be. If it's leaning older stuff, yeah, I would see them. If it's leaning newer stuff, I would pass. And Bullet For My Valentine, I mean, certified classic, right? I mean, it's Bullet For My Valentine. You know, again, schedule, tough to line things up. Uh, Thursday, it's a little bit shallow on the uh, main stages, which I'll get to, so that kind of opens up the opportunity to see um, the smaller bands easier without having to worry about overlap. But I definitely don't want to miss that bullet set. I've loved them since ninth grade, so hopefully we can catch that. And then the first main stage, we've got Smile Empty Soul, Saving Abel, Finger Eleven, Crossfade, Trivium, Three Days Grace, and Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie, someone that's like kind of guaranteed to play about every other year at this point. Listen, I like Rob Zombie, I would see him. Is it a priority? No. Um, if like a Body Count or a Bullet or a Dillinger's at the same time, I'll probably see one of those instead. But Rob Zombie, he's he's cool. Uh, Three Days Grace, this is one that, if this was last year, probably would have been a skip, even though I loved them in high school. But now that Adam is back in the band, it certainly changes things. So I'm definitely gonna try to see Three Days Grace because of that, as long as they're not at the same time as you know, uh, we came as Romans, for example. So again, all depends on that schedule. And then a couple others, Trivium. You know, I like Trivium. I don't love them as much as everyone else, I feel like, but I do like them, so maybe them. And then Finger 11, honestly, just to see Paralyzer live, that would be kind of cool. And then finally, the main, main stage, we have uh, Royale Lynn, Evans Blue, Blue October, Theory of a Dead Man, Hailstorm, Three Doors Down, and Shine Down. So Evans Blue is like a reunion, I believe. That's pretty cool. Um, to be totally honest, you know, I enjoy some Hailstorm, but not quite as much as I used to. So, you know, really the only band that I'm making a point to see that day is Shinedown. And since they're the main headliner, there will be no issue with that. I will say I'm a little surprised that Shinedown is filling in like a main headliner slot. Um, I kind of figured they would be more in that Rob Zombie position, like a direct support band, and there'd be someone a little bigger ahead of them. But I do love Shinedown. I mean, again more so the older stuff, um, but they're a classic from high school for me. So Shinedown, I'm definitely gonna catch that. Okay, so now we move on to Friday and this is the day where 
the anxiety is off the charts because I want to see damn near every band playing on Friday, which is obviously impossible. So let's run through it and see what we come up with. So just the small stage, you have I Set My Friends on Fire, Alessina, I believe it's pronounced. I'm not 100% sure. Sorry if I got it wrong. Uh, Scary Kids, Scaring Kids, Silent Planet, Devil Wears Prada, Silverstein, Seo Sin, and Under Oath. I would see all of those bands. Um, if I had to pick like priorities, would love to catch Under Oath again. Um, because of some of the other big bands this day, I might have to skip them just because I've seen them so many times, but I absolutely love them. Um, Silverstein, Prada, Silent Planet, gotta see those. Hopefully, I, I don't want to say gotta for anything on this day. Scary Kids, Scaring Kids. I might go catch them in February, so that would make them a little bit more expendable. And then I set my friends on fire and Alessina. I would see both of those bands too if I get there early enough in the day. So, <laughs> I mean, it's stacked. It is completely stacked. And moving on to the next stage, we have Bleed From Within, Butcher Babies, It Dies Today, All That Remains, As I Lay Dying, August Burns Red, Ginger and Kill Switch Engage. I would definitely like to see Ginger. Uh, I would like to see Bleed From Within. I think Bleed From Within will probably be a little too early in the day if I had to guess, but we'll see. All That Remains is kind of a band I've grown out of a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I do still like a few of their songs for sure. So again, but this day is just so stacked that I can't like, you know, it, it all depends on who's at the same time. All comes down to the schedule at the end of the day, but if I had to pick anyone, August Burns Red, I truly can't miss them like ever. They're like arguably my favorite band to see live, period. Even though I just saw them legit like a few days ago, they are perfection live. Um, it doesn't get much better than them. And then Kill Switch, I would love to see Kill Switch again. It's been a while, so hopefully that works out. Moving on up to the next stage, we have Left to Suffer, One Step Closer, Boundaries, Invent Animate, Era, Incendiary, Kublai Khan, and Knock Loose. I mean, <laughs> Again, just about everybody here. Uh, knock Loose, gotta pull that one off because they're they're Knock Loose, that says enough. Kublai Khan is a band that I've loved for a very long time. I did see them at Rockville last year, so maybe that makes them a little more expendable this year. But again, I'll, say, I'll keep saying it, just depends on who's at the same time. I'd like to see Era, I'd like to see Invent Animate, I'd like to see Boundaries. So we'll see what works out of those three i think boundaries would be the priority but yeah uh that's that's a pretty good stage too and then we move on up to the next stage we've got dexter and the moon rocks dorothy everclear candlebox bush sublime and good charlotte good charlotte is a band that has eluded me forever i've never seen good charlotte i don't know how i've never seen good charlotte so i really 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 want to see them but i fear that they'll be at the same time as like a knock loose just based on how the stages ran last year. Let's hope it doesn't happen, but I could see it happening. I might have to go half and half if that happens because I really want to see Good Charlotte get them cross off my list. Um, Sublime, me personally, was never a big fan. Bush and then all the rest as well, probably a skip. I mean, I like Bush. I've seen them a few times, but the day is just too stacked. It's just too stacked. And speaking of stacked, the main stage, um, Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, Lit, Bowling for Soup, Newfound Glory, Jimmy Eat World, Alice in Chains, and Green Day. I mean, I'm 100% seeing Green Day. I mean, same as Shinedown, they're the last band, there will be no overlap. American Idiot is the first CD I ever owned, so I really credit Green Day and All American Rejects because my neighbor had Move Along, but I credit Green Day for like starting my music taste. So it doesn't get much more OG in my life than Green Day. Um, phenomenal pull. I've been wanting them at Rockville for so long, so I'm glad it's finally happening. Alice in Chains, Jimmy Eat World, both of those bands I really like and I've only seen once each, so hopefully that works out. I'd love to see both of them. Bowling for Soup, another one that I've never seen somehow, so would love to see Bowling for Soup. Uh, Newfound Glory, always fantastic live, so hopefully we can catch them. And then Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, looks like they'll be pretty early in the day. Um, and it's really just for a couple songs. We all know the ones and I have seen them before. So we'll see on Red Jumpsuit, but I mean, this Friday is crazy. Like I literally, like I said, have no idea what I'm gonna do on, on Friday. So we shall see. So moving on to the small stage on Saturday, um, Angel Maker, Upon a Burning Body, Brand of Sacrifice, Amir, After the Burial, Attila, All Shall Perish, and Whitechapel. I mean, this is kind of like the kick your ass stage of the festival. All these bands are ridiculously good. Again, it's another one where I would see everybody, but you can't, most likely. 
If I'm looking at priorities, would love to see Whitechapel again. Have to see After the Burial. Um, they're like my favorite heavy, heavy band of all time. Not my favorite band of all time. Favorite heavy, like heavy band of all time. I would also love to see Attila again. Um, I've never seen Upon a Burning Body, so that would be cool too. So moving on up here, we've got Never Tell, Nerve, The Funeral Portrait, Real Friends, Set It Off, The Plot in You, Bill Murray, and Dayseeker. I mean, if you know me, you know how I feel about Dayseeker. So that's like an absolute must. I love that band to pieces. I love Dayseeker, so have to see them. Would also like to see Bill Murray and The Plot in You. Um, I've seen The Plot in You, it was a long time ago. Didn't really know him that well at the time. So would love to see them. And then Bill Murray, they're a pretty cool band. I've been getting more into them since they were announced a few days ago. So that'd be cool. And then Real Friends, like not a band I would have ever expected to be on Rockville, but I'll take it. And I would love to go support them because uh, I want more bands like that on Rockville. So moving up to the next stage, we got Chain Saint, Dead Heat, Havoc, Nails, Municipal Waste, Obituary. And there's like kind of a blurry one. So we don't know who that is yet. And Mastodon. So. I was never huge on Mastodon, not gonna lie. Um, of this stage, it's a little weaker for me. I would like to see Municipal Waste, possibly Nails. That's really about it for that stage. So now to the main stages, we got uh, Lilac, Liliac, sorry, I'm not 100% sure. Um, Escape the Fate, Of Mice and Men, Sleeping with Sirens, Hollywood Undead, I Prevail, and Pierce the Veil. So again, this is another stage where I'd really like to see a lot of these bands. Um, Escape the Fate and Of Mice and Men, not so much in 2024, especially Escape the Fate. Uh, they're one that I could probably skip. As much as I like their old stuff, definitely don't connect with them like I used to. Of Mice and Men, again, the new stuff, it's all right, um, but it's not one I have to see again. I would say the priority here, probably Sleeping with Sirens, but I would also like to see Pierce the Veil again. Um, I Prevail in Hollywood Undead. I would 100% see either of those bands. But again, I'm gonna keep saying it. It just comes down to who's at the same time. You make some bands a higher priority and some bands a lower priority and you go from there. And then finally, the main stage, Sleep Theory, Hoobastank, P.O.D., Taking Back Sunday, Beartooth, Incubus, and Linkin Park. So let's just get the elephant out of the room. Linkin Park could not be more of a dream come true for me. I mean, if you grew up in the same years that I grew up, you probably agree. Um, I know we lost Chester and it's it's horrible, but I personally think that Emily's doing a really good job and I'm really excited to be able to see those songs live. It's a dream come true. And you know, having this is better than not having Linkin Park. I unfortunately never had the opportunity to see Chester perform and that destroys me a little bit, but to be able to get a chance to see them in some capacity is a dream come true. So, so happy about that. And then I would like to, you know, like again, like I like Incubus, um, do I really have to see them again? No, just depends on who else is playing. Same thing with Beartooth. I've seen them many times over the years. The last couple albums didn't really hit for me, so I can afford to skip them. And then Taking Back Sunday, never seen them. Um, I would like to. I've heard really bad things about their live show. So if anything, it would be like for research purposes. But yeah, so that's, that's, that's Saturday. Again, a lot of good stuff. And that brings us to the final day. Sunday, small stage. We got Mugshot, Body Box, Peeling Flesh, 200 Stab Wounds, Pain of Truth, Tsunami, Death Heaven, and Power Trip. So to be honest, the only band that I'd really be interested in seeing on that stage that day would be Tsunami. I know a little bit, you know, maybe someone out there can recommend me uh, some more songs, but as of right now, just really looking at Tsunami. The next stage though, a good one. Um, Wind Walkers, Caskets, A Skylit Drive, Attack Attack, Bless the Fall, Memphis Mayfire, Hawthorne Heights, and Chiodos. So Chiodos is back. Um, I would love to see them. Uh, Hawthorne Heights, Memphis Mayfire, Bless the Fall. Would love to see all of them as well. Um, I've seen them all before, but they're all great. And then Attack Attack. It is very much like scab Attack Attack. Like it's barely Attack Attack. So I would like to see it. If I don't, I'm not going to be too busted up over it, but I've never seen them. So there's that. And then the other three, I like all those bands again. I keep saying it, but schedule, 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 right? So when the schedule comes out, I'll adjust my playlist and everything, but you know, it's just a big we'll see on those. So moving on up, we have Alt. Okay, I do not know how to pronounce this band's name, but I'm gonna try. San, San Gisagabog. I've heard of them, but I've never tried to pronounce the name out loud until now. Um, Gate Creeper, Fit for an Autopsy, Seven Hours After Violet, The Black Dahlia Murder, 
Testament and Insane Clown Posse. So I watched a little bit of ICP last year. I'm not really like a fan of their music, honestly. I just kind of wanted to see the spectacle and it did delivered from the amount of it that I did watch. So would I go see it again? Maybe. Depends on the schedule, right? Fit for an Autopsy is the one that I'd like to see the most on that stage. Uh, Testament would be pretty cool, but I'm definitely honed in mostly on Fit for an Autopsy there. So moving up to the main stages, we've got Return to Dust, Dry Kill Logic, um, Kimaira, Ki Kimaira. I really hope I didn't butcher that. Um, Seven Dust, Motionless in White, Mudvayne, and Bad Omens. First of all, great to see Bad Omens continue their meteoric rise through the schedule. Every time they're at Rockville, it's just up, up, up. Would love to see them again. Mudvayne, I don't really feel like I need to see again. Maybe. Again, depends on who's playing, but it's not really a priority. Uh, same thing with Motionless. I dig Motionless for sure. Do I have to see them? Maybe not, but they're on the list, you know, so all depends on who's at the same time. And uh, same thing with Seven Dust. So really all those bands kind of fall into that category. Just depends on uh, overlap. And finally, the main, main stage. We've got The Union Underground, Snot, Filter, Daughtry, Chevelle, Marilyn Manson, and Corn. So obviously I'm going to see Corn. like, similarly to what I said about the other headliners, like, it's Corn. So I've loved seeing Corn over the years, so I definitely don't want to miss that. Um, Marilyn Manson, you know, I don't have to see him. Uh, if I do, cool, but I'm not really, like, betting over backwards for it. Same with Chevelle. Now, I, I love Chevelle. They're another band that I loved in high school. Um, I've seen them a bunch of times over the years. If something betters at the same time, I won't hesitate to skip Chevelle, but if there is no one I want to see at the same time, be very happy to see them again. And um, I'd love to see Daughtry. I'm not going to lie. I really like Daughtry, but I like his older stuff more, so it kind of depends on what songs he tends to play, but I love that they got Daughtry on this card. And then the other three don't really need to see. So that's pretty much it. Um, there was a lot to cover there. I tried to go as fast as possible. I know this video is still like way too long anyway. So if you're still here, thank you. And just remember like when it comes to the schedule of these things, like you are gonna have to make some decisions. I will definitely have to make some decisions, especially on Friday. But the way I see it is like, no matter how you slice it, you're gonna be watching great music all day long. It doesn't really matter who you skip, right? Because I mean, I don't even remember the bands that I had to skip last year, much less two, three, four years ago. So you'll remember the sets that you see. You won't remember who you had to miss. So that's the way I look at it. I'm super excited for this year. And that's really all I've got. Um, let me know in the comments who you're excited to see. I'm sure it's just about everybody like me, but let me know. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.